need to put a United player in to win. She might be late now. But the interesting thing, because you're so far behind, if you, even if you bring them in, it's not to catch up, it's just to stay afloat. That's the problem. Like, that's going to be the thing that stops you from going further and further behind. I won't do it, Nadia. This is the motivation I need. You're all telling me to put United... I'm not in. telling you to do it. I'm just making you think about this error that you're making right now. In terms of the error, FG, I was 200,000 in the world three weeks ago and 1.2 million now after just three weeks. You were top as well, and mm. you're no longer top. Mm. Naden. But you must be in second. You were a little surely. bit stubborn as well at the start with Erling Haaland. That's, that's so many weeks ago. It was so, that's so, so many, many weeks, weeks, weeks ago. ago. Let's not make it about me back there. No, make no, it about no, me no. today. It, it exactly make it about me today. Do. You are closing the gap. On whom? On, on FPL as a whole and the, the league. Obviously. I'm climbing. I'm climbing. Let's take a look at Nadam's team. Aye, He's you, see this. you see this guy. You see this Last guy. Last week, okay. score a 79. Yeah, my only issue was that I had Almiron on the bench. And it was a toss-up between Amiron and Matoma. And I picked the wrong one. But it was another solid week for me. Most weeks now, probably three quarters of the time, I'm trending upwards. So much so that, like, I'm within 60 points of Nat how like, are you, the Natalie Pike. How are you the living Natalie with Pike, yourself, I'm 60 though. points behind us. You've the got, Natalie Pike. <laughs> Nat, so if look. there was a clip, I was bottom in November. Yeah, you were. And now I'm 60 points behind the Natalie Pike. And 100 points behind the FG. The 60 <laughs> points behind the Natalie Pike. The Natalie Pike. <laughs> oh, my but goodness. How is this OK? This Manchester City legend here is sitting with two City players in his team and three United players. OK, so let me uh, explain this to you now, OK? So when United play, I prefer it when they don't win. But if they, you know, lose 3-2 and Rashford scores two, then I get some points. And, you know, I've gotten a lot of points from Rashford recently. Even made in captain one time, took it away from Haaland. I'm good. And do you know what it led to? 60 points behind you. Just think about that. Just like that. Is there anything you're looking to change, Nader, in the team at all? Yeah, I've done something ready for this coming week, but I'm not going to reveal it too much. I think you should reveal it to us all. Do you know ah, cool. It looks like, apart, from, apart from Ben Williams, who was in there basically just because he was the cheapest player on the game, I quite like my bench. So sometimes, you know, you just got to just boost mm -hmm. it. So maybe okay. I'll be uh, yeah, so. doing that this coming week. And you've got everything left. Still. Yeah, you I'm going to use your triple captain. Yeah, not use that yet. And also, I'm going to have two transfers for next week, where there's going to be a double game week. So yeah, I've got a few things in line. And as it stands, I'm actually playing this game and doing all right. So long may this continue after you. I'm a bit intimidated because, you know, there was a time where I was so happy and I was messaging Nadam every week about FBL. Mm. And I'm just leaving him to it. And <laughs> he's captured me. That is a solid, solid team. I think this is better though. 96 points I got last week. I'm buzzing with that. 90, did you bench boost? No, I didn't bench boost. You got 96, 96 points. 96 points. Where? From the boys, the squad. Saka. It was Saka. Saka was it was a, Rashford was again. It was De Bruyne. It was Amiron. Tony scored. The City versus, City scored. versus Arsenal thing. I sort of played them against each other and it actually played out exactly how I wanted it to play yeah. out. Because you don't have either. No you don't have defenders. Yeah, so it's clever. Exactly. So but you've got Alexander Arnold. Yeah, the, I mean, that's where it's a little bit. I don't know whether I should change the defence. I think that's going to let me down. I'm, we're saying there's a, not a massive gap between us, by the way. Like, I'm joking that I'm top and I'm enjoying it whilst I can, but I'm on borrowed time here when you've got your triple captains. Your I've got all my chips. I've got nothing left, but... I like that team. I do like it a lot. It, I what just, about the defence? Uh, defence, you know, is what it is. Like, they'll get assists and all that stuff, but it's just for me, like, I like my three forwards. I can't, I can't say, I can't get away from that. I think the same, but then I look at the midfield and I think, which one do I take out? Yeah. Yes. I mean, Almiron I could have done last week, but I'm glad I didn't. The reason I didn't was because everyone else did. I did. Yeah, so, I mean, yeah, and he was on the bench for you as well, with 10 points then. <sighs> which, Listen, mm. it is what it is. He's... The keeper's good, though. Raya's decent as well. He scores a lot of points and he's used by a lot of FBL people, so. Mm. It's only, like, basically, we've got seven players exactly the same. So every week, it's like, oh, let's celebrate. Oh, no, FG did it as well. But yeah, we'll be I okay. think I'm going to go mad, you know. I think next week I'm in a wild card, get loads of players in that no one else has got because it's the only way. It's the only way I'm going to come back. So you're going to use your wild card, and you're telling me you're not going to use a single Man United player? No. Just, just for just for record, this this energy that she's just delivered here was why I was bottom for the first two three months. <laughs> I got everyone that nobody else had, and lo and behold, everyone else got ahead of me. But yeah, oh. sure you'll be right now. Well, Maybe. let's talk to our viewers real quick about our Match Day Live in Citizens League. You can still join with the, code, with the code on the screen. We're gonna talk real quick about the leaders. Saeed, who's a Bournemouth fan, is top of our FPL league. And then leading the way is Rob, Ragnar, Joe and Simon. And guess who Simon supports? 
Don't say Man United. He's an Arsenal fan. Is he? What are they doing in our league? He's an Arsenal fan. So we've got a Bournemouth fan and an Arsenal fan who are both on their way to jump into the blue side, yeah. which is sensational. Our leader is in the top 100 in the world. Really? There are levels to it. What chance have we got of catching them? Ye none. <laughs> Zero. You're not going to do that. I'm not gonna do that. She's definitely not going to do that, so there's no chance. I mean, he's in the top 100, so has he already statistically won this, do you think? No, because no, you don't know where the next person is. I dropped a million places in three weeks. Yeah, but he's talking about top 100 here. That's different. One million places? That is... Um, it's funny that I've jumped up a million places. That is actually like, oh, OK, all right. Well, no, I, it's just, no, it's just funny. I'm getting a little bit nervous. No, it's just funny because, you know, yeah. right, Marcus Rashford is the it difference was, there. It was the United effect. But no, I, I appreciate your, um, your loyalty. Thanks, thanks. Um, I think the City yeah. fans will. Yeah, I mean, but uh, hopefully it'll carry on because I'm still going to use United players and <laughs> they're on fire, which we will talk about a little bit later. <laughs> Let's talk about our January Manager of the Month, Ben Walsh. And I can reveal, Ben, you have won this. Nice. A beautiful side shirt. You know what, right? You know what's good about this? The signatures are all unbelievable. Every single City player has amazing signatures, and that is on the way to you. So if you haven't already joined our Matchday Live and Citizens League, you can win one of these just by coming top. That's on the way to you, Ben. Well done, my friend. Maybe Natalie can take some tips. <laughs> wow. Oh, Three bad weeks. Attack. Look at these two lecturing me. Listen. We're in form right now. <laughs> now, we have touched on it briefly, but let's take a look at our Legends League. You can see... No! No, 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 no! <laughs> now, I'm just going to let you take it away. Um, all the way from fifth place. I've dropped from first to fifth in the last month. We've seen Kel come out of absolutely nowhere as well. He's too quiet for my Yeah, back. Kel's flying, isn't he? He doesn't join in any of the chats on the WhatsApp group. <laughs> He's, he's, he's smart. He's, he's suffering from success. So 76 so points. Said. I mean, I, looking at the scores, Els also had an amazing week. 90, yeah. 90 points. Mm. Um, Worst week in our league for me. I mean, yeah. 60. Oh, no, feed the points. goat. Sean Goat is doing Sean Goat hasn't <laughs> changed his team since the start. Of 20, 2015 or something, he, yeah. yeah. Um, Nadem. Did you see that's me in seventh? All right, listen, the, run the tape. I said I wanted to finish mid-table. I'm exactly mid-table now. And in November, I was here. I was right here. And I said, I'm all right with that because I'm closer to everybody else. Look at me now. And I'm, Talk to me. Mm, I'm getting a little bit rattled. Don't worry about me. You've because got, there's a top five. There's a big five. And then I'm just trying to get I the conference league. I have one bad week off losing top spot. So nah, I'm going to nah. enjoy this whilst I can because I'm, that's on not his... actually sure. I can see Jolie Lescott is coming from out of nowhere. Nah, and that's only you so far, Nadine, it's, it's on the assumption. It's on the assumption that every week's going to be a big week. And until the Sunday's fixtures kicked in, it wasn't a big week on points. You know what I mean? When the average is like 30s, 40s, you're not going to be getting people jumping ahead of you, are you? Think about it. I could potentially lose that spot, though. I'm getting slightly... Some people bad. can't lead. You know what? I'm enjoying Some it. Some people cannot lead. I'm enjoying it whilst I can. I had a very, very good, good week, so we'll take it. Another football team or people that had a great week was Manchester City. What a great week for us. We beat Aston Villa and then we won the big game against Arsenal. Let's take a look at the City players who scored the most. And there's only one place to start. Nadem. Oh, Kevin De Bruyne. Oh, yes, please. People yes, please. doubted this man. Impossible. In Impossible. How can you ever back against this bout? What a performance on the big stage. Talk me through this one, by the way, because, yeah, granted, it's a mistake, but wow. Yeah, it's, it's a mistake from Tommy Asu, but it's only a mistake because he actually came up with the ball. He could have very easily just stopped, but he's anticipating that that's where the ball's going to go. And then the left foot finish, little volley type thing. So that's incredible, isn't it? Football looks so, so, so easy. Yeah, and the despair so in Tommy Asu's good. face was like, oh, no, not him. Not Anyone him. But Kevin yeah, it's Waterland him. It's well. Jack's face that's my favourite on that clip. You just see him, he's so, his eyes lights up like, oh, he's going to get it. Yeah, this is, uh, it was a very nice moment, to say the least, yeah. It was indeed. Another person who's shining in Sky Blue is Riyad Mahrez. Mm -hmm. Another, he's a, you know what, he's a bit of a, a, a secret, secret star in FPL. Yeah. 18 he, he, points. Yeah, he definitely is. He's playing, he's playing well, he's scoring, he's contributing, like... Is he our penalty taker, do you think? Well, he scored his penalty, so... 
I was very shocked to see him take the penalty because I thought it was going to be yeah. Haaland. How is it when the Champions League kicks back in next week? How is um, Mahrez's place in the Premier League team going to be affected? Do that we think is, it will be? I think it will because I think he's key to the Champions Mr. League. Mr Champions League, isn't he? And he performs very, very well in the Champions League, but he's on fire. Mm. Can you drop a player like this who's on fire when we're so involved in a title race? Have you got, have you got one fantasy? Not yet. Uh, cool, 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 cool. Not yet. You? One cool. man... I haven't, I've got De Bruyne, I'm good. One man who not many people have got on fantasy, Jack Grealish. 2% mm. of people yeah. using Jack Grealish, but according to this graphic, 13 points last week. Mm. Is he someone that can make your teams? So, maybe. I thought this was the only fantasy football show in the whole world, but there are other websites and stuff out there who do give information, and Grealish and Mahrez were being suggested by scouts as players to put in, the, in that last week. FPL scouts. Yeah, that's, that's a full-time thing. It's almost as bad as playing on FIFA, but that's such a thing. And, like, they stepped up. They did what they needed to do, eh? You are definitely doing your research. <laughs> Off camera, he admitted he was listening to podcasts about FPL. This is the number one show, though. This is the number this one is show. The, this yeah. is, this is the number place. one show. That's why people who support Bournemouth and Arsenal come and take part, because this is the number one and show. winning as well. They're doing, they're not, doing we well. don't mention that bit, but they yeah. come over here to see the Blues. This band. is indeed the place to get all the, all the important news. We have got a new segment, and it's called Top Trades by our sponsors, Axie. And this is going to give you all of the information you need. Let's talk about Jack Grealish again real quick. Let's talk about the fact he averages 3.9 points per match. That's a lot. Mm, that actually got 26 points in a game week. Points. This is a viable, viable asset. He is playing so, so well as well. Now, how good is it to see Jack doing what we obviously see every week, but oh, people okay. underestimate? I love it because exactly that reason. People that don't watch City every week perhaps question Jack Grealish because all they do is look at the stats, they look at the assists and they look at the goals. But we know the contribution that he makes to our team is so much bigger than that. But it's a score in this game, obviously he scored in the derby as well. He's proven that he's a consistent and also big game player. The big thing for me at the minute with Grealish is he plays every single game, doesn't he? And that Pep Roulette seems to be skipping him currently. But again, what happens when the Champions League kicks in? All right, Big Steve? There's All Big right Steve, there. absolutely loving it. <laughs> it's lovely to see. That is an iconic, there's an iconic image of Big Steve as well, sort of like that on City's Instagram, which is brilliant. I wonder how Big Steve is doing in fantasy. Nadem, Matoma, mm -hmm. who is in both of your FPL squads and not in mine, mm. is he the man at the minute in FPL? He is on serious, serious form. The points per match, 4.3, but obviously selected by 14%. Yeah, that's, you know, there's not that much difference between him and Grealish, but it's that selected by percentage. And I think when you see that number starts to creep higher and higher, you've got to wonder, like, do you have to do it? Like, I know I'm, I was joking around before, but with not picking Rashford, like, the league's split in half. 50% people have him, 50% don't. If you don't have him, he does anything. You fall behind him, Atoma's just edging his way there. But unfortunately, they don't have a fixture next week. So it's a bit of a risk to bring him in just for one game week for him to sit the next, but... I think it's been fantastic. Look at their fixtures though, Nadine. That's the a cracking set for look, next fixtures. I was fixtures. just about to say, the fixtures they have got look good for them. Yeah, they do. It just seems like he can't stop scoring. And the goals he's scoring... Great goals as well, really, yeah. Really, really high quality. Yeah, yeah well. it's just it's, it's the annoying thing about fantasy. Like, is something a trend or is it a one-off? Like, if he's had a little spell, does that mean that that's who he is or that's going to be the best he'll ever play? So, I've got him, you know, like I said. Well, I brought Boost him the bench. I brought him in last week, Nadem, and then he did nothing. Him. Yeah, same. I did exactly the same thing. But, you know, we make mistakes every now and again. That is my biggest fear when I bring a player in that potentially it'll be the week. I'm sure that I'm cursed with new players because they never do anything. Yeah. All right, top of the league. Yeah, never do anything. So we're all right, let's well, move was on. me. Woe was me. Yeah, woe was me, top of the league. <laughs> let's move on to someone I know that you want in your team, Nadem. It's Bakayo Saka. 15 points. Granted, it was a, a bit of a controversial penalty he scored, but he. He's on fire at the minute. Arsenal are playing really, really well. He's a must for every fantasy team, right? Yeah, he, he is. Like, I didn't know it was 5.7 per game. That's, that's amazing, especially for a guy that plays every single week as well. You know, he, he literally is printing points. That wasn't a time. penalty, by the way, was it? It was a brilliant clearance by Nathan Ake off the line. Yeah, I, it was giving me sort of deja vu with John Stones against Liverpool in the title race as well, that clearance. That I'm not sure, Nadem. About the penalty or really? second? Wow, well, listen, the ref gave it, so who would say otherwise? I'm disappointed, but 
you know, three one win. I'm not going to grumble too much. Well, that's it. It doesn't really matter in the. Grumble. The uh, but yeah. Well, I'm grumbling because I've got Cal Walker, <laughs> and I would have got a clean sheet. Well, listen, you still would have been fifth, so that's the downside. But there was um, 5.7 points per game. Is very impressed because if you think about it, like that's the equivalent of having a striker who scores every single week. The striker's playing two for, two for the match and then four for a goal. If you're if you're getting those numbers every single week from one of your players, that's massive. That's absolutely enormous, I'd say. And obviously we've got Pep Roulette. Allegedly. Allegedly. Even though yeah. Natalie seems to think Jack's the, the first time on a team sheet, which I agree with. Arsenal have got European fixtures, but surely Saka's just gonna be safe for the Premier League, isn't he? Well, the European fixtures will matter. I think there was a game yesterday that Barcelona played in, which felt like a big game. So, you know, the Europa League and stuff, it's in that next stage now where you take it a bit more seriously. And for those Arsenal players, they're so young. If they need to be rested at this stage because of the load management, like, I think it's missing the point. Saka's very robust. They'll be playing a lot of football between now and the end. And they'll be getting lots of points. Saka, that was, that's, that's a big statement. Well, that's enough. That's, that's, we're all done. Until the next episode, Natalie, we will come back to you in the future and have a look how you're doing. Good luck to everybody in the next one. That is all for the FPL show. What an episode. Thank you for joining us. Really appreciate it. We will keep tabs on us, but please do let us know whether Natalie in the comments should use United Play or whether you're happy that she hasn't. Here is what you guys can expect on City Plus and Recast in the month of February. Thanks for watching. training session and Rio was you know one-on-one -on -one against the the left back at the time I won't mention his name <laughs> and he was doing you know the usual step overs and he's made the the defender uh, and gone past him and everyone just stopped training and has gone ooh Undala can he find an opening still Undala that is absolutely magnificent it's up against Moina get beyond Buena, plays it in field to Bruyne, Haaland 1-0! And to Barney Shaw, and an even better pass from Haaland, oh, that's a beautiful goal! To both these clubs. PSG looking for an opening here for City. Tarnat. Macken, he's won it! He's won the tie here for Manchester City! That has to go down as one of the great FA Cup ties in the history of the competition.